and we're joined by Ken Stover and Keith Z. Brewster to talk about the Gratitude Project. I, I, I want to start with you, Ken. You got this going. Where did it come from? What part of your heart was um, the beginnings of what we've seen to become the Gratitude Project? Um, we started the Gratitude Project about four years ago. And part of it was the idea of elevating the virtue of gratitude in a person's life. And what I recognize in my life is that gratitude and generosity really had a disproportionate in, impact on my own mental health and on my own life. So we were trying to think of creative ways to elevate this concept to our community. And so the f early years, it was uh, we threw parties at the RCMP to connect the RCMP and the community together. Um, and then now during through COVID, um, with all the negative news cycles and all the restrictions and stuff, um, we just wanted to do something to bring hope to the community. All right. So we're seeing the project take a new turn. Keith, maybe you can describe what's going to be new about what we see this Gratitude Project doing going forward. Sure. Yeah, like Ken said, it was a project that was rooted in community for years, and we've resurrected it now to focus on people doing good in our community and elevating them. Um, as you know, with the Stober Foundation, we do large-scale philanthropy and capital projects, but we found there's a really great opportunity to lean into people who are already champions for charities that were close to their hearts. So what the Gratitude Project will look like now will be uh, our team finding people doing great things in our community for no other reason than being good humans. And we're going to secretly find these people and surprise them and elevate their generosity by matching what they've raised and sometimes doubling or tripling that. So the goal is to find people who are making a difference in our community, uh, find out why they're doing it and why they've chosen those charities, and then surprise them, kind of right. floating in with a bit of a, a generosity surprise. So if someone's watching this, they could have someone in mind that they think, yeah, that now there's a project I know about that somebody's doing Certainly. on their own that would love to get a boost like that. Certainly. That's what you're looking for. Exactly. We've, we've been very lucky to have some time to go and find these. And there is a little bit of good news out there these days. And we've been able to kind of cherry pick some of those. But the Gratitude Project is going to exist online with a partnership with Kelowna Now. And people will be able to nominate themselves or people they know who are doing good things in our community. And we'll be able to find them and reach out to them and, and make that connection and hopefully elevate a number of people going forward. Right. I think it's really important that people nominate other people. It's really exciting because in the negative news cycle, I was telling you, it seems like um, the media is out there trying to catch people in their very worst moments. Mm -hmm. And we kind of want to flip the script and catch people doing good and really encourage the community to um, nominate themselves if they want to or other people um, because it's so good for the community. The goal of what we're doing is to instill and inspire the next generation of philanthropy. And I think somewhere along the line, philanthropy is dealt with with a, a bit of precociousness. It's seen as check writing. But, you know, I, I, I don't think there is a face of philanthropy. I think everyone in this community is a philanthropist in their own way. Um, we just do it in different stages. So, you know, you're a philanthropist if you're donating your time. You're a philanthropist if you're donating the jacket off your back to someone in need. You're a philanthropist if you're emptying out your pantry. Some people give their money, their time, their resources, their care, even share their stories and their, their, their motives with their social networks. Those are philanthropists and the Gratitude Project, I hope, will bring all those people together and we can kind of elevate each other and do good in our community. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for telling us about it. And we just can't wait to see this unfolding. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Ken. This yeah. is great to be here. All right. Thank you.